guys. So this is how it looks like. I washed it, so that's why it's a little wrinkly, but I'm either going to put it on the side here so it drapes. So I'll cut it in the middle. <sighs> Put it in the middle and put it on each side or on the top. I don't know yet, but it's supposed to be a runner for the table, but uh, I like it how it is like that. I like the vibes. We dig it. So we will see. Okay, so this is what I'm thinking of and um, I'll cut it like that so I should have room. This still goes with that and it goes with the table. Uh, but also, and if there's enough, I'll make a bandana for the wig back there, bub. <laughs> so I was telling him that that way I can, this, this, hello, this is cohesive. No. And I'll go ahead and I'll add a couple pockets there for the remotes. Cause usually we'll have them here, but Hey, don't put your remote on Vogue. Oh my God. The heck. Guilty. No. Guilty. This Vogue is from 1953. I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, the PS5 controls, circa 2020. We show respect in this house. So for these guys, in order for them to be, hi potato, for them to be here. So that's what I'm thinking actually. I may just do the other side and then I'll show you guys because I think I'm going to film the rest tomorrow because there's more, there's more sunlight. It's more sunlight. So I just wanted to show it this angle and I'll do B-roll. All right, gang. So here I'm going to be showing you guys how it is that I'm laying this flat and where I'm thinking about cutting it. So I ended up kind of going halfway. So it depends on your couch and your situation, but I wanted it to be enough to allow me to put, as you can see, the remotes. In the correct position it ended up being long ways but it's fine um i asked andrew if he preferred a divider but he said no and it turned out to be the best idea so uh, we also didn't put the ps5 controller because it would be too heavy but we did end up having that on the side and it came out perfectly fine all right friends back on this grind so this one is perfectly goes pretty much down here so we split it in half and then I split this even more. So this is what we have left. If I want to extend this, I'm just going to sew the rest back on. Uh, but I was actually thinking of maybe making it, and I gave it a lot of extra fat brick on the top. So then I can zip in the middle, a little zipper or something, or fold so I could put the stuffing in there. Um, and that way make a little pillow and put it in here. So that way with the remainder, I can put that over there. So both sides will have that so it's you know it's got the, the plaid going on but i still wanted it to be tasteful so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to iron this i'm going to make sure it's neat stitch that bottom and then try to figure out how i want to put where they go oh my god there they are to put these these guys the controllers so i want room to like maybe put like both of these put it this way kind of distribute the weight in a way where it's not going to be too obtrusive too annoying so i'll go ahead and do that maybe even a little treat pocket for lady but we'll see um if not because i want to touch this like here so it's over here and it's not too crazy so it's going to be a little short uh but i like where this is going so my iron is ready and let's get on to it so here we're ironing it. So this is my Cricut iron. I love this thing. And the last time that I worked with plaids or tart, tart, I always say it all weird, uh, was when I was doing my freshman collection. So it was a punk collection. So it was very reminiscent. I was getting flashbacks, but you want to be gentle with this material. You don't want to stretch it too, too much. But right here, I'm just going to go ahead and iron it. And I am also allotting it some space. Uh, I did about maybe an inch and I folded it in. Uh, this will also depend on the fabric you have, obviously, because this is obviously it was not meant to do this. So I'm just working with what I have. This is a runner. So you could possibly get longer runners and then have more seam allowance. But I just wanted enough to stitch it down so my hand doesn't get caught and it still looks nice. My machine is ready. I'm just going to go ahead and use black thread. Honestly, I'm going to do my best to work 
with this I want something that's fun and easy not something that's gonna be overwhelming and yeah so without any further ado enjoy it see ya Alrighty, so what I did is I folded this half an inch and then I folded it again. Then I went ahead and just single stitched it, locked it. So this is gonna be the bottom. I was gonna put like a little weight, but Andrew's like, stop being extra. And I'm like, never. But what I did over here, as you guys can see, is I added the pocket. Pretty cool, huh? So you can't really tell because I aligned it specifically going like that. So once it's up, it's not really too, too off. So see? It gives it a little something interesting. So what I did for this one is beforehand, I went ahead and I folded it in. I ironed it and then I sealed this shut just because I hate when you put your hand up and, you know, this flies up, even though it's secure on the sides. I, I, I hate that. So I was like, I can't do it. So see, you guys can barely tell. And I did the straight stitch here and I locked them on the side. So it goes with this, but it's still catching the bottom, which is perfect. Then on the sides, I went ahead and I stitched that as well, locked it down here, folded this one under. I didn't stitch this one because it's already, you know, encased on down here, just the top because more movement. And then, so you guys could see, secure, secure, secure. I asked Andrew if he wanted uh, or he preferred a divider. He said that's fine. So he's just going to put them there and then the long one here. So it gives a little more... I guess you could pick whatever you want, you know? So I'm gonna go ahead and iron this and then I'm gonna go ahead and plop it on there and then we'll see how it looks. <laughs> you gonna model it? <laughs> oh no, where's the controller? Oh, that's awesome, you already had it in there? Do you like <laughs> it? Does it? Does it feel like flimsy? No, not at all, it feels super, uh, super firm. Did you want me to make dividers? No, no dividers. Like, if, I can't tell which remote is which then. I don't know, I don't deserve this. 